But how hard is it to fly? Well, you know, rotary is a very difficult uh, challenge. But with the GPS, the inertial navigation systems, the joystick capability, it's got literally a push button landing. Uh, that makes for it to be, be a very easy, easy process. I also know it's on the trip off. I mean, we're not that far from it, maybe, maybe 60 meters from it, aren't you here? That's correct. Uh, and this has been something that has gotten a lot of business uh, back and forth in, and they want to come back and in the uh, village there. They will amplify common village sounds uh, through that to determine exactly what type of thing. So I appreciate the fact that this guy can come in and put that high resolution picture. Uh, through the streaming video, we can determine uh, an area of interest, click on it, and get that high resolution back for, uh, for added information. I think there's any kind of ambient noise that would pass any kind of information as well. That's correct, that's correct. If it's small enough, it looks like everybody's just watching the second. Michael, stand it up. Stand it up there just for better signal. I guess. We haven't tested yours. Be cautious to inevitable sensor feet and at least for this application to keep the size small enough that it can be launched and managed by a single person in the field, the soldier in the field, and that. You're able to uh, carry it in and out with a good deal of ease. So we are designing it into a backpack uh, mode. I, I, you know, I don't know that much about a back of flight. How is it Well, that's probably true with most people here. Uh, we're a relative of a new uh, company, two years old. The technology is being licensed out of Georgia Tech. They've done over 20 years of strong development out of there. Aerospace uh, engineering uh, departments and a lot of DARPA programs. Uh, so we've been very fortunate to access that large body of work. And as you can see, uh, we've got uh, a lot of processing power on board this guy. Uh, six gigaflops. And we're only using 10% of that. So it, uh, is driven by what we call our SCS-20, uh, but we will sell separately uh, a very high-end uh, flight control system. And it's got open APIs to it, so for those that would be interested in what is sitting on the bottom of this thing uh, and bringing all this capability, we want to give it a to it. What does this look actually weigh? Well, that whole package there weighs Oh, that's a good question. Right at two pounds. <laughs> uh, so it's it's a little light, light weight bag. You know, it's just it's terrible. You know, it's just how better equipment it is than I have my airplane. Yeah, I would uh, I would, it, it, make a bit of a bold statement to say that little guy's probably got more processing power in it than most of the vehicles that you've seen out here today. Where does the W character shoot at? Well, that's another good question. I mean, we're flying urban, we're low. We have, uh, are just have built in with all that extra processing power. You can start to do a lot of different things. And we're uh, adding uh, invas uh, invasive maneuvers that can take place once it uh, starts getting shot out of automatically. It'll start and that with be pre it will start with some free back. Absolutely. And, and uh, about two pounds. What about my favorite thing? Well, that's enough. I mean, most of these operations take place at night. Uh, we can fly our cameras on here. We can also have other sensor types. Um, as we've been talking to individuals, that we can imagine has that, has the material clouds, uh, chemical potential, and you'd like to put sensors in, send this thing up there and have it fly in and around there. Uh, right now, we are flying pretty much line of sight out of the tip, but uh, be aware this can fly a couple of miles away. Uh, you could be sitting well behind the line. Uh, we could see this is uh, being used by platoon, uh, carrying it in, set it up, sit up, look up over the mountain, look up over the hill, look around the trees, and get some real situational awareness as you move in. You do that at a height that you could not do, and then after that you want to, want to engage some of them.
I was just watching over here on the uh, over in the town, the combat town, and that the uh, the one hero is following the truck. But in fact, I can just see him up there. He's about uh, 50 feet in the air, and, and following the truck is totally out of the range of rearview mirrors. And with just the noise in the truck, they probably wouldn't know it's there. That's right. Um, so you've got a, a lot of the first capabilities to raise up a growing interest in the micro concept in terms of UAVs, and certainly in terms of loading the uh, passive flight pushing. Uh, now, see, we've got our insurgents that are running in and around. Um, we'll be picking those up the following round. One, one is uh, on the far side of the uh, van, and the second one now looks to be uh, almost joining it. They're now about uh, 40 meters apart, and one looks like it's maybe departing the immediate area. That's right. Now, we are flying today our smallest bird. Uh, we have a number of these in the adaptive flight toolkit, depending on what uh, the mission calls for. Uh, in terms of carrying heavier payloads that afford uh, other capabilities. So this again is a two pounder, the small, more smallest uh, helicopter surveillance system that's available today. Now they'll begin to make their way back over. Uh, all of the processing power is done, as you can see there, uh, Hurricane in a little box light up on Yeah, looking at it. Uh, uh, this, is, this is a single loader or is it a full loader? I can't really tell from the uh, single loader. But I'm um, watching one is approaching uh, now behind the tent, my point of view, but approaching to the right side of the uh, off screen. And it looks like it may be returning to uh, uh, RPL. That's correct. Um, and we have to serve as, as, a, as a two bird system, and we've got an automatic home capability. And you can see it flying right here. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that when you send one out, if you need, if you need more power, uh, we've got this up to about 20 minutes when the clock is out, the other one automatically turns itself back in, swap out the power, and continue to manage the situation. That way. It's a lot of fun. I had uh, an early call and I don't know how I got onto it from the top of the office. Uh, 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 yeah, and you're getting appreciated for what an electric vehicle can do. Uh, you know, what are you hanging off with? That's our, uh, we've got some fun capabilities in the office. Uh, being able to communicate back and forth to the birds, streaming the video of the car live, or stream the video of the car live. The stream the video. There you go. Great shot of what that bird's seeing in the more right, more right picture. Yeah, they're still hanging out over here by the van. Good job. Yeah, number two is coming home for the rest. We get a lot of questions about wind and other things. We've thrown this and flown this in gusts of 35, 40 knots. So, you know, with the on flight uh, capabilities that come with that processing power, it's able to hold its own and make it real time adjustments as, as conditions change. And it really alleviates and, and builds in uh, an ease of use that is absolutely necessary for a rotary as well as something this small. So, hi, hi, hi. Hurricane, I appreciate uh, appreciate your time, and we'll let that sort of bring us up down. One last look around. <laughs> Well, thank you. That's true. Tyler, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Tyler McGruder from Adaptive Flight. And uh, that's great. Uh, that's Two birds working in tandem out there. Hey. Thank <laughs> you.
going to make sure I'm in the right place. Oh, yes. Peter Bay is here with us right now. And, uh, I understand you're trying to launch off of, uh, off of a, uh, a, 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 a Jeep or a whatever. Yeah, Hurricane, we're, uh, we're proud to show the AI Aerosong here today. And uh, we wanted to show a different uh, type of launch mechanism that we've used uh, quite successfully over the years. Uh, today you'll be seeing the Aerosong uh, launch from a uh, Humvee. So uh, I'd invite the ladies and gentlemen to look out uh, on the beam screen and uh, out to the runway behind. And you'll see the Aerosong now uh, become airborne there at about 50 miles an hour. You can see the aircraft rota rolling now. And uh, what's happening now is we're accelerating uh, up to around 50 miles an hour. The aircraft will then uh, slowly rotate, come out of the cradle and uh, be airborne. And there we are, birds away. Aircraft uh, is flying there and uh, climbing away nicely. And what we have there is uh, just showing you uh, some uh, standard infrastructure that, that will be a part of the, the military hardware. So we're able to use that uh, so we don't have to carry any sort of uh, extra wheel. 